Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Cory, and welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 online video. And in this video, I want to show you an amazing place to make quite a bit of money here in Red Dead Online. Now, we will be going after some birds and a few other things in this episode. So you guys will just have to bear with me, but I have a brand new location that I want to bring to you where you can actually find these birds. It's uh, not the normal spot above Saint Denis. So uh, we're getting pretty close now, but we just got to mosey on over this way here. And we're going to be going to the right of us on the other side of this river. So the only place that we can really get across unless we decide to swim over there is the bridge that is up here just a little bit. But it doesn't take very long to make some money here. So you can choose whatever butcher that you would prefer to go to. That would either be, either be the butcher in Rhodes, which is just where I was at, or you could use the butcher in Saint Denis. It doesn't really matter. It's probably a little closer to Rhodes than Saint Denis. But the other thing that you guys can benefit from is every once in a while, there will be a um, gang hideout right here to the right. Uh, that you guys can go ahead and work on too if you guys would like if it does spawn now once you get some of these animal carcasses on your horse the chance of the spawning is going to become significantly higher so i'm going to show you on the map where we're currently at so you guys have an idea of where we're currently located and you can see that all the different types of birds in this area there are so many different types of birds we have got ducks we've got the spoonbills we've got seagulls or not seagulls but um, herons and things like that all down in this area so once we pass this bridge here this is actually right here is where the gang hideout usually spawns at and then the there's a whole bunch of birds that actually that will spawn right along this bridge here and then there's also alligator and small alligator that we can get our hands on now it's a little bit foggy in the area right now so it's going to be a little bit harder right now but we do have one gator there and you can see in the background right there that we actually have some cranes and we have an egret as well. So that's actually what we're looking for. So I'm going to leave the alligator there for later because we are going to pick up an alligator just because that's going to help our money making method. But it looks like there's a few different birds. So I'm going to go ahead and take all these out. Look at all, look at all of them though. There are so many birds all the time right in this location. And look at that, just a money making machine right here. So let's go ahead and start picking up all of our all of our different birds or cranes. I think only one of them got away, I believe. But there are so many different kinds of birds and whatnot in this area. But now what we're gonna be looking for is obviously uh, any three star birds because that's gonna make the most amount of money for us. And every once in a while, if you look into the sky, you will see, like, ducks flying. Which, actually, I think those are ducks right there. Yep, there goes the ducks right there. And, yeah, it, this this area is so amazing for making a ton of money very, very, very quickly. Now, I just happen to be riding through this area and happen to notice all this activity going on over here. And I actually saw basically what you guys saw here in the video... And that was that I was riding along and I just started noticing like white birds. And I'm like, wait a second, that doesn't seem, I've never seen that before. So I decided to kind of check it out and it was a whole group of birds, just exactly what you guys just saw. All right, why are you freaking out, horse? Can you stop freaking out? I have some money to be made and I don't want my stuff to despawn because when it, is behind me sometimes it will despawn so where is the alligator though oh there's a well, there's one right there oh we got the blue heron nice i actually thought it was on the other side of the tree there for a second but the other thing that's really nice about this specific location is there's not a lot of people over here as you can tell there's not a single other player that's even remotely close to me right now according to my mini map which is great because it allows us to kind of do this at our own leisure instead of having to worry about being griefed or any other um, issues that we might have along the way but we had what six birds 
or seven birds just right here. Now, there are the alligators that we saw when we first walked into this area or rode into this area. Plus, there are baby alligators as well, which obviously we can store multiple skins on our horse if we can find them. So what I'm going to do is after we pluck this crane right here, we're going to get on our horse and we're going to find ourselves a three-star alligator because that's just going to add to our money machine right here. So let's go ahead and pull out our bolt action rifle. Now, if you guys don't have a bolt action rifle, then it's going to take a few different shots, but I can do a one shot kill with my bolt action rifle. So I'm just going to go ahead and slow down the horse here and let's just shoot this alligator. And that's going to allow us to get a nice three star alligator skin and hide. So we'll go into our little bit of an animation right here. But yeah, this is such a great place to get some extra money actually i if you get the amount of birds that spawn here at a time this is probably quicker than the cougar location that i love to farm which is down in tumbleweed but yeah there's there's a ton of different alligator in this area if you come on this side of the tracks i haven't seen too many birds over here this is usually where i find all the alligators but it doesn't seem like anything has spawned oh there's a bird right there actually so i'm gonna go ahead and take this one out there's usually not too many birds actually on this side. I don't really know what it causes them to only spawn on the other side. But if you guys happen to know, then let me know down in the comment section. But yeah, you also will get um, resourcefulness. So if you guys have a little bit of dishonor going on and you want to increase that, this is a great way to do that just because we're able to get more hides and more fur, uh, feathers, more whatever. And you can see that I was, I mean, I was pretty much at complete dishonorable and i'm able to kind of generate it up just a little bit better because i do want to start working on some of the story missions because i have not finished them completely yet which is fine for me because it wasn't something that i was really focused on i was focusing on some other things of course but i'm not seeing anything else this is actually kind of surprising usually there's a lot more gators in this area but i am not seeing any right now i'm kind of just we got a wild boar on top of the roof what in the hell okay wait i gotta go check this out i'm just gonna make sure there's no you guys seeing that right there's a boar up there or was a boar up on top of that house and then i think it just jumped down that was very interesting Is there still a boar up there? Oh, it is still up there. Look at that. <laughs> that is awesome. Hey, Mr. Peggy, how did you get up there? I have no idea. Anyway, you guys can also do a little bit of fishing in this area as well. But I specifically came over here and wanted to show you guys more about the, um, the different birds and the whole bunch of birds that are in this area. Honestly... The more that I've done this, the more it's been very consistent with the, the amount of birds that we are getting. I'm glad that we at least got one alligator. I was hoping for more, but that's fine. So let's go and see if we kind of triggered this gang hideout, which I don't... It's not showing up on my map, and it's just on the other side of this train tracks right here. Which it's not... Nope, it's not showing up, but this is where it would be. So you definitely can just jump off your horse, and that way you don't have to worry about it. And then go after this gang hideout that would be here. Whoop, what was that? Got a skunk if you wanted to add that to your uh, monies. that You could definitely do that. I'm not really seeing any more crocodile, which is really interesting. Crocodile, alligators, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, but I didn't see any small alligators this time. But I assure you that there are in this location. But this one definitely seems to be better, in my opinion, than the one that is uh, north of Saint-Denis. Because I seem to have a lot more luck with this. Now, it is slowly becoming night. And it's going to be a little bit less of an opportunity to make money. But it is this specific area has been a lot more consistent than Saint-Denis has ever been. But I'm going to go ahead and head on over to Rose right now. And we're going to sell our... Our items. Now, I'm just going to show the different op options that we have here. We can go to the butcher over here in Rhodes. Then that's the one that I'm going to prefer to go to. Or you can go all the way down over to here, which definitely seems like it's a lot longer of a ride. But there's like nobody even close to me right now. I don't even know where all the players are at right now, which is 
actually really interesting and kind of bizarre at the same time. But let's go ahead and make our way over to Rhodes and sell this and let's see how much money we can make from this little bit of an event. Now, I've, I'm obviously was searching and running around the area, messing around with the wild boar that was chilling out on top of the house. But you guys could probably do this in under 10 minutes and you're going to see how much money we can actually make from doing this. Now, if there aren't a lot of birds in the area, all you have to do is run to actually to about here and then go back and more birds should spawn. You just need to get about 20 seconds away or so from that area. You have to go further than the mini map shows in order to get the birds to spawn again. But there's only been a couple times ever that I've done this where the birds have been very light. But even if you can find like two perfect, say, spoonbills, you're going to make 15 to 20 bucks pretty easy. And that's in a 10 minute period. So it's not terrible, but you just need to be able to find more birds, which we're going to be able to sell right now here at the Butcher and Road. So let's go ahead and get on over there as quickly as possible. And now that we're here, let's go ahead and dismount off of our horse here. And let's go ahead and sell our stuff to this butcher. Good to see you again. All right, so you can see that we have 1095 right now as far as our money goes. And we're going to sell our flight feathers. We're only going to get $1.50 for those. But we did max out our whooping crane feathers. And we're going to get $1.20 a piece for a total of $12 for those. We're getting the hair and plumes as well. That's $9 for those. We have the gamey bird meat, 25 cents a piece. So that's another two bucks. We have our our teeth for the alligator teeth. We got the big game meat. So if you can get more alligators, it's going to obviously increase this. But at $3.50 for the perfect egret, we're going to get $3.25 for the heron. And then we're going to get $3.50 for the alligator hide. So we made basically 40 bucks in a 10 minute period which is really not that bad now you guys i know you guys can do it way quicker than what i showed here but now that it's evening i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video but i would love to see what you guys do with this method let me know how much money you guys are making per hour using this specific method i would love to know if it is working well and doing you guys a lot of favors you know making some extra money here on red dead online but that's all the time that i have for today's video if you guys did enjoy it in any way don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below it would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated but until next time youtube you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it and you guys stay gaming